Hey, what's up you guys? Brandon here. And today, I'm going to do something a little different. I haven't done one of these in a while, but I'm going to be doing a review on the SH Monster Arts 2014 Mothra figure. This is a beautiful figure. And, um, what can I really say about... <laughs> what can I not say about this figure? It's an amazing beautiful piece to add to the monster arts line oh my god it's just it's just such a nice figure it's such a beautiful piece of of art you know because creating figures is an art so it's just so beautiful so um let's take a quick look at the packaging and then we'll go into the full review of the figure okay so here we have the packaging for the mothra figure and it is a very large packaging just to compare it to something I will grab the DC UC Night Owl Owl Man. I don't know who he is, but um, someone gave this to me. But um, you can see the size of the box. Supposedly, this monster is supposed to be 12 inches long, but I have no way of measuring it, so I have my ruler broke. So let's look at the back of the box, and you have these very beautiful, beautiful photos of Mothra and Batra. Some Japanese lettering. And on the top, oop, the top says Mothra, but that's upside down. It says Mothra. Mothra again, and then Japanese, the name over here. But you can't see that too well. And over here, sides, fix the camera up. Has another picture of Mothra in black and white with SH Monster Arts on the top. It says Mothra again, Mothra in Japanese. And the bottom has all the regular stuff that's usually on the bottom of boxes. And your warning labels and all that stuff. So yeah, so that's the box. Now let's take a good look at the figure. So before we take a look at the Mothra, I want to talk about the stand that comes with it. So this is the stand. It's a clear stand. And it has a cradle that is made specifically for this Mothra. So that is what it looks like. This supports the back of the Mothra, so the underbelly, this part right here, all the way up, is cradled right here, so you just kind of snap it on, and voila, she will stand. But, the cool thing about it, is that if you own the Batra figure, you will notice that this is the same stand, just in yellow, in this goldish yellow, and... The bottom looks like this, the same kind of thing you're used to if you own any of the other Monster Arts kind of display stands or any of the other flying monsters like Batra or Rodan, or Rodan. They also come with flying bases and I think if you have the original Godzilla, he also comes with one of these stands for his Fire Blast. So now let's talk about the paint and the sculpting of this figure. It this figure falls in line with most of the Monster Arts figures where the body is all sculpted, like has these sculpted ridges and like bumps and all that all across here. So from these wing parts, the whole side of the wing is sculpted, but then this is a different type of plastic. Like this is soft and really like, really like soft to the touch and very plastic. Like it feels very much like plastic where this doesn't, it feels very bumpy and very sculpted to make it feel like fur which is very nice and it, the this runs throughout the whole Mothra figure and the plastic runs throughout mo this plastic feel runs throughout most of the wings I do enjoy it and the paint the paint is on point it is so nice it is so beautiful and I love how large the wings are again to compare him to a DC figure so you, you can see this is the Nightwing, so you can see how large the Nightwing is standing just in front of him, and you can see how large these wings are alone, and they're not even pulled out all the way. <clears throat> it's kind of pointed up to give it weight distribution, but now I want to talk about the sculpt in the face. So I think the eyes came out perfect on both sides. How excellent they came out. The feet also as well you can see the cradle and how it works the feet as well came out perfectly no complaints about the feet 
they're all pretty much the same sculpt just repeated but they're all very nice so now let's go over the articulation on the figure so at the very base of the the very face itself these tendrils on the top they move you can adjust these however you want so if you want these going this way this way that's cool these little feelers in the front move so you can pull these out forward bring them back together the same thing with the mouth so you want to move these out first and then kind of close the mouth oh, stands falling then for the le for the wings let's go over the wings um, when you're moving these wings I suggest you hold it from the base so from here let's flip it so from here I suggest moving it you can move these wings in and out and the same thing at the bottom in and out that's when you break them out rule the neck has two points so one in the back of the head and one in the that, that connects the body it allows it to look all the way up and all the way down but that far so she can look that far down or that far up then she has three points in the leg so up top she has a swivel so you can move the legs forward all the way around 360 the same thing here it can move out and then again 360 but I wouldn't suggest doing it because these are very weak and very delicate same thing again here but these are a little tougher which I don't understand the smaller ones would be tougher and then you can kind of turn it at the foot but it doesn't want to do it so I don't want to force it <laughs> then at the butt part all of this is articulated so you can swing this to the side swing to this side like that you can push it as far as that way it's the same thing as it like Godzilla's tail if you own any of the other SH Monster Arts figures it goes up like that and also down where it can look like this all the way down like this which I think is really cool and really awesome I think this Mothra is a fine addition to anyone's collection so here is a quick size comparison between the Millennium Godzilla the SH figure it's Millennium Godzilla and if you guys want to see a review on this guy I will probably put an annotation around him and also a link in description if you're watching it on your phone uh, but you can see how small the body is for Mothra Com but the wings are so large that it makes up for the, the size comparison between the two and you can also see that they're in perfect scale together and how they just look really really well together I'm very happy that I bought both of these figures and also I'm going to compare it with the new NECA Godzilla so you can see how large Mothra is compared to that figure. So, and now here's the comparison with the the Mothra and the new 2014 NECA Godzilla. And I will be doing a full review on this NECA Godzilla. But for right now, Shadow Miss Prime has a review of him. If you want to catch it before I do my review and talk about how I feel about this figure. Um, I will link that also down below. And I'll put an annotation for when I do my video. And I'll put it over on him and also the link in the description. Whoops. Sorry. Overall, my feelings on the SH Monster Arts Mothra is that I love this figure. I do not own too many of these SH Monster Arts figures, but I am planning on getting more. But this is a fantastic way, fantastic place to start is right now with the so many options that they have available. And since they are making a 2014 Godzilla, I will be trying to get that. But these figures are pricey. This figure did run me $70. And which is a lot of money for some of you guys and I would understand why you would pass on it or wait for NECA to make one because I know they're planning on making a full line of Godzilla figures but you're not gonna get the same quality because the SA Monster Arts line is very high quality stuff and when I say that I mean it this is way past Marvel Legends this is way past DC UCs I think the like I don't think there's many companies that are really competing with the style that these guys are bringing to the table so if you have the money I suggest you pick it up because this figure is well worth every penny that I spent on it and I hope you guys enjoyed the view this review 
If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment on what you think of the figure, because I would also like to know what you guys feel. And if you're watching this video and this is the first video of you ever seen of mine, please subscribe because I make ACBA type videos and I also do reviews sometimes when I get figures that don't really have too many reviews out there. So with that, I'll catch you guys next time with the review of the NECA Godzilla. So I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. Overall, my feelings on the Godzilla, uh, about this, overall, my feelings on the NECA, NECA.